Oh, viewers, you do not get bargains like this player that we have today. I am honestly shocked at how good he is for the price that you will be paying. Welcome to the Omega Luke Gaming Channel, viewers. Today, another player spotlight, and we have a player who is just so goddamn cheap for what we have. It's unreal, and the res end result is incredible as well. So remember to please smash that subscribe button so you do not miss any more videos in the future. Press the like as well so you help me in the YouTube algorithm. And eventually, viewers, coming together, we will reach a goal of 20,000 subscribers during 2021. That's the aim. That's the new goal. We smashed, we smashed 10K in 2020, so there's no reason why we cannot do 20K in 2021. That's... Uh, that's the goal I have. And of course, if you do like some live action on Twitch, we are live with the youth to go. Twitch.tv forward slash Omega Luke Gaming. Now, this player, well, I need, I need, I really need your opinions now, viewers. At the end of the video, you need to tell me whether you rate this player five stars, four stars, three stars, because I am bored. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I really think. We could be looking at a five-star player here. And the man in question is Uriel Celi. Now, you can find him. He is Peruvian viewers, and you can find him in the Peruvian leagues with Cantoloa. Cantolawa? I don't really know. But anyway, already, I mean, this is obviously some fixed attributes as well, because every time I've loaded this guy, this is how good he looks. He's a bit of a set-piece genius, viewers. He has 15 for penalty taken, free kicks, and 16 for corners. Very good at crossing the ball as well. He's left-footed only, but he does play on that left-hand side. So if you do play like wingers, he's really good, but he also can play in the cam role really effectively because he also has 15 passing. Great determination. His physicals are still decent, not amazing. Uh, the mental attributes, they will grow viewers and, be, and, and he will be a very good player. But the best thing about this player, viewers, is he is only worth 39k. And normally when they're worth that much, they still bump the price up. Not this player. 190k I managed to pick this guy up for. And that was like really lackluster. I barely even tried. You could probably get him for cheaper. And I know Ryan Cassidy managed to get him for cheaper himself. So this player has a potential range of up to 160. So we are going to crank him right up to 160. We are going to put him in a club and see how he does play in every single game. Then we are going to move him on to one of the elite clubs in Europe. And see how he fares in one of those leagues as well as the Champions League. I'm excited viewers because these results are insane. So we find ourselves viewers in Belgium. Now the reason why I went to Belgium is because they are kind of like the leagues below the elite leagues of Europe. And I think this guy at the start of the league campaign, well at the start of his development anyway, will thrive in a league like Belgium. Now here he is already in the second season getting the highest average reign and the most assists. So at the age of 20 viewers, he is already <laughs> looking incredible. Uh, classed as a wonder kid, finally. Good passing. His vision's got also gone up to 16 as well as his passing. So for that attacking cam roll, probably the best around in this league. Uh, flair of 15. We have first touch of 15. Crossings up to 16. Even his set pieces are getting better viewers. But how is he faring in this league? He is worth, by the way, £26 million already after just two seasons. Uh, and to be honest, viewers, he's done incredible. 40 games, he scored 23 goals and 18 assists in his first league campaign. 25 goals in total with 18 assists, 7.37. This league campaign, 11 goals and 19 assists with four player of the matches. So he's done really well and they have managed to win the league both seasons. So he has actually done incredible. To be honest, he's the highest average rating in the league. He's got the most assists in the league. It's not surprising. But at the end of the fourth season, viewers, we can see he's pretty much outgrown Club Bruges. They did not win the league. Anderlecht managed to do so. They've got a lot of youngsters who develop into world-class players. So it's no surprise that they might have dropped off. Uriel Shelley, though, is still the highest average rating and the most assists at the club. And let's take a look at him. 
A midfield orchestra of viewers worth £31 million at the age of just 22. Those mental attributes I told you would get better. His physicals have also got better and his technicals are looking fantastic. He is close to his peak now, viewers. He's not quite there, but he is close. A five-star player in this league. He wants to move. He wants to go to a bigger club. We are going to give him that. The two seasons that we have seen... 40 games in the first season there, 16 goals, 14 assists. This season probably is, se well, actually is the second best. Uh, 18 goals and 16 assists with nine player of the matches. 25 goals and 23 assists in total with 15 player of the matches in total. A 7.55 average rating, so his best performances, not his best results statistically. Now, the role that we've been using for him the last four seasons is this Camelas version one as an inside winger on support. But we are going to move him to a different club because he has outgrown Belgium now. He wants to leave. And I think we're going to try and play him in this cam role and see how he fares there. We've given him a good goal on the left-hand side. Let's move him into the middle where he's going to be more involved at an elite level, viewers. But where is he going to go? There's only one place I wanted to put him. And that place is Paris, viewers. We have moved into France where he is going to be joined with Erling Haaland, who, of course, has scored 78 goals. So he didn't win this time the highest average rating. But Selly also... He still kept on what he was doing in Belgium. He managed to get the most assists with 32. So that's obviously quite good. If we do look at him as well, viewers, he has progressed into an elite attacking midfielder. This is him now at his maximum. He has had two seasons in Paris. He is worth £62 million. So for the player where you picked him up for less than 200 k is now worth £62 million at the age of just 24. So we haven't even given many player traits either, viewers. So that's that says how good he has actually been. His mental attributes have grown into an incredible player. 18 vision with 17 passing, viewers. That is deadly. If we've given some player traits like tries um, killer balls often and stuff like that, we could be looking at even more. The agility of 17, because remember, viewers, we are playing him in this attacking midfielder role now. He doesn't necessarily need the physicals that we have been given him. The technicals and the mental attributes are what is needed and required, and he's doing just that. He only has nine finishes, but he's still scoring goals because he has managed to pick up 18 assists in total. Two seasons, he's got 13 assists and 18 assists, a 7.37 average rating. Now, the tactic we are using him in this season, he actually scored 10 goals in total, viewers this season the tactic we are using him in is the phantom menace and we're going to see that so we are playing him in that cam role using the phantom menace i wanted to see what we can produce in that cam role because i very rarely use the cam role uh, i don't really find it effective in the stuff that i've done in the past maybe this is going to change my opinion because this player 18 assists in the league is very high that's almost assist every other game which is hard and difficult to do. It's actually easier to score the amount of goals rather than get the most assists. So for this player, after two seasons in Paris, he's doing very well, but we still have a couple of seasons to go, viewers. Let's take a look. So the final season, viewers. He doesn't find himself on any of the highest statistics, but let's see how he managed to do. Uriel Shelley. So this is him at his final peak form. We've already seen that. Uh, and for... Paris Saint-Germain. So he hasn't had as good a last two seasons what he did before. Just five goals and eight assists in the season prior. It's still a 7.3 average rating. So he's still performing well. That's good. Uh, but this season, 11 assists. So he picked up the assists into double figures again. Two goals, four player of the matches, a 7.19 average rating. Still very high. So He's still doing what I expected him to do. I want to see. I mean, he's won League 1, so that's good. Have Yes, they won the Champions League, viewers. They won it in 2027. The season before, they were Champions League winners. So that is absolutely fantastic. Has he won? He's won a lot of Team of the Weeks. He's done very well for that. The most assists in the competition. That was fantastic that he managed to win that. So he's done actually really well. I do actually want to... We moved him for a free transfer. What is his value now? It's still £63 million. Still £63 million. So the fact that... I mean, they've got an exceptionally good club, but he is still one of the highest valued players there. £98 million Mbappe. £92 Erling Haaland, who... Scored 61 goals. Has he managed to get any higher than that? 52 goals in the league campaign. Viewers. Oh my God. Viewers. Erling Haaland scored 102 goals in 53 games. 
102. That is the highest I've ever seen. That is the highest I have ever seen a player score. 52 goals in the league campaign, and he managed to score 25 in the cup in seven games. What? And he scored 25 in 13 continental competitions, which meant he scored 102 goals. Jesus. And he actually scored 19 goals internationally as well, which doesn't count towards that. So that's that should be even higher. Should be even higher. Unreal. But I want to know what your opinions are on Uriel Shelley or Shelley, however you say it. The Peruvian £63 million worth now, viewers, that you can pick up for less than 200 k So you make yourself a big profit there. What do you rate this guy out of five stars? Let's have a think. So the cost of the player, obviously a huge tick there. Less than 200 k you can't argue with that. His statistics, he has produced some good statistics, a lot of assists. Obviously, the role that he is playing in, it's hard to get good goals and good assists. But I think we've got to give him that one. He managed to get a lot of assists in what is difficult formations to get assists in. It usually is just the strikers scoring a lot of goals because we're counter-attacking football. So I've got to give that as a yes as well. Uh, for the position that he is in, his attributes, very good. Very good indeed. If you want to play him on the left... Very good winger because he has that fantastic crossing. He's a good set piece taker. He also, if you play him in that cam role, has 18 vision and 17 passing. So he's also really good with there. You can even play him in a centre midfield role as like a box-to-box -box midfielder or a Mazzara on attack with that high dribbling first touch and crossing is also going to be really good with to complement the passing, the vision. The mental attributes are also good too. So that's got to be a yes from me as well. His value at the end is £63 million. That's easily a tick from my end does he have that something special it's very difficult to get that little trait viewers to get that star to make it five star i don't think he does in my opinion i'm gonna give uriel Celli just the four stars and that's gotta be slightly harsh i think if he had better goals it might have given him that five star but for the position he plays in it's hard to get that he got a lot of assists just the four stars from me. What is your opinions? Let me know down in the comments. So there we have it. That's another player spotlight in the bag. One of the good ones, I think. One of the best ones that we have had because of the value and because of probably nobody's ever heard of him. So that's also fantastic. Uh, I love I love bringing you ones that you probably have never heard of. But remember, viewers, if you want to find him on your game, you're probably going to have to load the South American leagues, or not the South American leagues, the South American uh, players especially Peru. If you don't have Peru loaded, you probably won't find him. So make sure you have that league loaded uh, in regards to players, not the league itself. You don't need to load the league, just load the players, viewers, and you can find Uriel in that category. But please, if you can remember to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and of course, hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you are one of the 75% of people who haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you do. We have plenty more videos, especially player spotlights coming out in the future. We've got so many planned. I've got so many built up to bring you, and they're all really good. We don't put out bad ones, to be honest, viewers. So you know every single day we have a player spotlight, it's going to be something good. So make sure you are subscribed. And of course, viewers, twitch.tv forward slash and make loot gaming should you wish to do so massive thank you to jeff gates and the the, uh, the simulator who did this simulation for me and all of my team of simulators in my discord if you want to join the discord link is down in the description get yourself some free tactics some training schedules and as well you get to know when i go live or when i upload a video thank you very much viewers have a fantastic day i'll see you tomorrow for another video bye bye